What's going on, NBA fanatics? This is your friendly neighborhood, Memphis Grizzly, home of Memphis X, and I talk hoops. Today, we are talking about the first game post-trade deadline for the Memphis Grizzlies. But first, every hero needs that theme music. This is Memphis X with I Talk Hoops. While you are here, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified every time I drop a video. I have a goal to reach 3,000 subscribers by the playoffs, and I'm going to need your help to get there. Thank you. All right, we have a few games left before the All-Star break. And I like to call the All-Star break the official, after the All-Star break is the official sprint to the finish to establish your playoff position and your playoff opponents and to get your playoff rhythm together. That should give the Grizzlies about, what, about 25 games to get their stuff together. Steven Adams should be back by the end. Uh, they have a new shooter on the roster in Luke Kennard. Everything should be coming together. The team's pretty healthy right now, knock on wood. And I think people are thinking that I was 100% negative on the video yesterday. And that's really not the case. All I was saying is I need to dial back my expectations of what success looks like for this season. The Grizzlies, of course, play the Minnesota Timberwolves tonight. They will be welcoming back two of their old friends in Mike Conley, Captain Clutch himself, a new addition to the Minnesota Timberwolves, and Kyle Anderson, of course, who burned us the last time we played. The Grizzlies are seven, six and a half point favorites. Um, I'm looking forward to really seeing how this team responds to, I would say, their first taste of adversity as a group. And what I mean by that is the first time that they found, they got a little pushback from the fans about expectations, expectations of performance, expectations of effort, expectation of results. And this is a young team. And I can tell you right now from what I've seen after the Bulls victory, they're not handling it well. Of course, the Grizzlies welcome Luke Kennard. I don't know if they're going to have a press conference to introduce him. And we know this team. We've been following this team for the last three or four years. We know this group. And it's very peculiar that not one member of the Grizzlies has welcomed Luke Kennard to the team on social media, as far as I can see. Now, they're not posting on social media either. So they might be doing a social media blackout as a group, which I would welcome. And they might be like Ja was all off season, going back into the dark. And I have no problem with that. I will be looking for how they mesh on the court, what goes on on the court, how Dylan responds the first game after being booed at home. So we're going to see what's it like because the Grizzlies front office made an active decision to keep Dylan Brooks on this team after the trade deadline. I don't want to hear about they couldn't find the right trade, a trade. They made an active decision to keep him on the roster after the trade deadline. So they have to be responsible for that decision. 
not only for these last games of the regular season, but for what happens in the playoffs. And I wish and I hope for the best. But like I say, we've already seen Dylan Brooks shoot them out of a playoff game. So we're going to see how this team responds to this adversity tonight. Hopefully we can get another win because I think the next game is going to be a little bit tougher. As Sunday, they play Boston at Boston at 1 p.m. So, you know, on ABC, and we already know Boston has not been a great matchup for us. Unfortunately for Boston, Jalen Brown might be out that game. So the Grizzlies, you know, it is what it is. I don't expect Steven Adams to be back by that game, but you never know with Steve, with Steve-O. So the Grizzlies really need to get this win tonight. I hope I haven't heard anything different, but I expect Luke Kennard to play tonight. And what I'm expecting, what I want to see is some lineups with Ja Morant, Desmond Bain, Luke Kennard, Santi Aldama, or Brandon Clark, and Jaron Jackson. You know what I'm saying? I want to see as many shooters as I can with Ja Morant. And that's just what I want to see. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what's going to happen. Tonight at the game, we're going to see how this team responds. Now, to answer the question on the thumbnail, what does the success look for look like for the Memphis Grizzlies for this season? A successful season would be a Western Conference Finals appearance. That would be ultimate success. Just to make it to the Western Conference Finals is success. Acceptable would be to make it to the second round. The West is so even and jumbled this year. Just getting out of the first round is going to be tough for every single team, even the Denver Nuggets as the first seed, because you don't know who is coming out of that play-in. And right now, the play-in teams are – the New Orleans Pelicans, the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Golden State Warriors, and the Portland Trail Blazers. That means Dame, Steph, Ant, and Zion. Any one of those four teams are capable, have a player capable of carrying them through a first round playoff series. So Being the one or two seed is not safety. So you're going to have to be on your game. You're going to have to hope for a good matchup. I expect the Lakers are, what, two and a half games out from Portland. I don't know if they're going to be able to catch them. It's going to be rough. They waited too long to make their trades, in my opinion. But we're going to see. Can they do it? But I don't really worry about that. I worry about who's going to be our matchup when the play-in games happen. I just want the Grizzlies to start playing well, and they got to hold off the Sacramento Kings for to keep that second spot because you'll end up with a 3-6 game, and you don't know who's going to be there. Right now, the Phoenix Suns are in sixth place. So do you want to be staring down Durant in round one? That's what the – Right now, that is the prize for the third seed, staring down Durant. Oh, the prize for the fourth seed right now, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, the fourth seed, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. There is no safe landing spot in the West. That's why I say an acceptable season is making it to the second round. Although I would be frustrated if they lose in the second round, I will understand, depending on how the series goes, the matchup and all that stuff, you know, the regular stuff. But I will understand in the big picture. 
but I will be expecting them to do something large this offseason if they lose in the second round. So now if they make it to the Western Conference Finals, I can understand them sticking with their plan and gradually building up because things are moving. So we're going to get our first taste of what it looks like with Luke Kennard and another elite shooter on the roster. Man, we waited. What? It's been since Mike Miller, since we had an elite shooter. I mean, unless you want to count Troy Daniels. But an elite shooter since Mike Miller. And now we have two of them. Woo! What a time, what a time to be a Grizzlies fan. Peace.